I can remember my first cigarette. Uh, I was 18, and it was in the days when you could still smoke inside. I was in this grotty SU bar, and I can remember uh, sinking into this armchair, and there was a film on, but I couldn't tell you what film it was now because I just was kind of blanked out. It was, it was all fuzzy to me. I felt sick, uh, I felt dizzy, and I felt a little bit euphoric. I, I knew smoking was bad for me, um, but at least I had the excuse that the time smoking uh, still seemed cool. We'd had decades of positive reinforcement with uh, glamorous movie stars smoking looking cool. Um, but opinions are changing now. Uh, smoking's not seen as cool anymore. Uh, so I wanted to figure out why people still smoke. So first off, smoking isn't all bad. Uh, nicotine is both a sedative and a stimulant. It releases dopamine, which means you feel some pleasure. It also ups your beta endorphin levels, which reduce anxiety. Nicotine has been shown to improve memory and concentration, and there are some studies that say that smoking may even uh, prevent dementia, because nicotine receptors are the same receptors that are being lost uh, in dementia patients, and by smoking, you increase the amount of them. So we all know that there is uh, nicotine in cigarettes, but I wanted to know where it actually comes from, um, and it turns out that it's a natural part of the tobacco leaf. Uh, the tobacco grows it as a pesticide. It's a poison. It's highly addictive to humans because it's a similar shape to a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. There is a group of acetylcholine uh, receptors in our brain which cause us to release dopamine. So when we ingest nicotine, we get a hit of dopamine. We've known for a long time that uh, dopamine equals pleasure, but scientists are starting to understand that it also has an effect on our memories. Um, it tells us to remember a sensation that we're feeling and to try and replicate that feeling, which is why we keep smoking, even though we know it's bad for us. So you might have heard that tar is the worst element of cigarettes, and it turns out that tar is just a catch-all term for all the toxic chemicals and particles in cigarette smoke, and it kind of comes together in this kind of horrible goop. Now, the average cigarette has about 15 milligrams of tar, which is nothing, it's about enough to cover the head of a pin. But the average smoker smokes about 10 cigarettes a day, and over 30 years, it adds up to about this much. So all this tar gathers in your airways and drowns your cilia. Now your cilia are these tiny microscopic hairs uh, inside your airways that work like a conveyor belt and move particles out of your lungs, out of your mouth. But with these uh, paralysed, all of the poisonous chemicals in cigarettes can get down into your lungs unchecked. Now these chemicals include carbon monoxide, ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. There are over 5,000 chemicals in cigarette smoke. Uh, and many of them are carcinogenic, including benzene and acrylamide. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Um, and these carcinogens uh, get into your lungs and start attacking the cells in there and start mutating them and causing cancers. There are about 1.1 billion smokers in the world and up to half of them will be killed by the habit. That's 8 million a year and about 1 million just from secondhand smoke. And the best news is that smoking is harder to give up than heroin. See, isn't science awful? If it wasn't for science, I could have gone on smoking, uh, blissfully unaware, but as it stands, I had to quit. If you're trying to give up smoking and you're looking for something to do with your hands, maybe you could leave a comment below this video and suggest a topic for me to talk about, or maybe even subscribe to see our newest videos first. And until next time, try not to go up and smoke. See what I did there? You see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see what I did there? Do you see?